Hey you guys, welcome to the show. Hello. Just another Wednesday afternoon over here in beautiful Springfield, Missouri. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. beautiful. It has been a lovely, lovely week. We had a really nice weekend. It's been nice. It's been, it's been nice. spring is in the air. Spring. <laughs> spring has sprung. That's right. All right, guys. We are following up on Friday's video, which was the yes. necktie. The necktie. So yes. Denny's got it all tooled up over here, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And I am going to attempt to do some hydro dipping with some python oh. to go to make a tie, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see. But otherwise, you guys get to watch this dude. Color. This, Tony's going to color. Guy right color here. leather. This guy's going to color on leather. Yeah. I'm so excited. Not with crowns, though. No? With Angela's dye, it appears. Angela's dye. So, everybody, welcome Tony Williams hey. to the show. If you guys don't know me, this <laughs> is it's me. It's Tony. We've <laughs> never been around yeah. Anyways, before. so Denny's going to spot Tony yes. with his coloring. Okay, here's my thought, Tony. Okay. The little background, all the little beads. Yeah. You do in this cordovan dye. Okay, we're gonna do it in cordovan. We probably should start with that. So I would say start with that, yes. And you've got a choice of brushes here that you can use. I got a little brush pack. A little brush pack. When was the last time you colored something, Tony? What did I color of yours? We did a trading card or something that I colored. Yeah, you colored several things, I think. I don't know, and maybe it was a field note journal. You were impressed when I did it, so. Um, I'm always <clears> impressed <throat> when you, oh, impressed. I'm yeah, sorry. not depressed. But do above. Need, do I need a little cups or am well, I just? Either one that you want. You can either put it in a cup. That would come less likely to spill than a cup, I believe. Okay. Yes, Elizabeth? Oh, nothing, I'm watching you. Oh. That's a big old brush. Yep. You could probably work over here and then they could see you. Yep. But oh, right. I guess you're over here, huh? He knows where he set up the cameras. I didn't. Isaac set it up. Okay. Isaac didn't get it right. He has to adjust. Hold, please. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Liz? I don't know yet. I So I made up my I dipping... I like your little trays. Oh, these? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is just a fence post, a plastic fence post. It's the 4x4 four four from Lowe's. And then we cut it in half lengthwise because it was no, a six foot post. Um, we cut it in half and then we cut one side into a four foot and a two foot section. And then the other one I left full length six foot just in case I wanted to dip a 72 inch strip. A belt. Right. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. Do a cool. whole. Easy. When I when bump you're the on table. a table that's being slammed in with something else, that makes it real delightful. You're welcome. You know, you've been a little bit of a pill this morning, so this is just my my way of getting back at you. That was a fantastic evening. What happened? And just all the fantastic things. Okay, I'm sorry. What did I do to be a pill this morning? Oh, you're just not Tony. Rusty asked me if I wanted to go to a meeting, and I said, nope. <laughs> he said, okay, well, you're coming to this meeting. <laughs> That's sort of real like. There's a paper so towel if you need to block your brush or anything. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you get a couple, Denny? Did I, yes, you I did. got okay. several. Good job. Um, yeah. What's the button so, like, the one cam is in the corner? Oh. Uh... Picture on picture. Mm -hmm. Hit. So I just, just say uh, push the one that says on. Oh. It's a small one, but that's okay. Magic. We're teaching Isaac magic today. It's gonna be a great day. Who doesn't want to learn magic? Um, I don't know. Exactly, everybody. So we did this um, hydro dipping before in a video, right? Yes. Yeah, Tony, we did. Yeah, we 100%. Yeah, for Sorry, I was reading the comments. I'm watching. Have you just got water in there? No, it's this, it's thickened water, but thickened, it's too thick. Thickened water? Yeah. What do you thicken it with? Carrageenan powder, which is a seaweed derivative. 
it food grade? Um. Seaweed, yeah. Yeah. You know how seaweed is thick and it floats? Yeah. On top of water. Oh, how wonderful. I don't know. Actually. Zoom it in a little bit, Isaac. Probably even raise your finger. I assume that it's up. got something to there do with go. that. J and T, you guys didn't get a span. So the thing is, is that YouTube doesn't allow anything live to have the GU wins in it. So it was probably that we, so we it's probably that we said the word too much. Yeah, we got we got overly excited about making sure that you guys knew that we were using a fake Tacos. fake burrito. Yeah, yeah, yeah burrito. <clears throat> and um, it's okay. We got it figured out. If you guys hadn't noticed, there's paper all over our beautiful cowhide rug here. That's to protect For it. a reason. Yeah, we're not dumb. We well, might I be silly, that far. but we're not dumb. How's it going, Tony? I'm just painting along. Just painting my bubbles. That's good. After you get it all dyed, when that's dry, I'm going to antique it, and I bet that'll look pretty cool. Oh, so you know what? So there was um, one of our customers... And your name is now escaping me. I'm really, really sorry. You're probably watching this, and I do apologize. Um, maybe it was Shelly. In any case, no, Shel was it not Shelly? It's over there by the printer. Uh, I don't think you know what I'm do you know Oh, what you're, about? is this the Discord one? No. Is this oh, the yeah. package we got in? No. Okay, that is Shelly. Okay, so uh, Shelly was making lapels for somebody's oh, yeah. jacket, but they couldn't be permanent. And so she had emailed me about some different solutions and she had included, you know those little like push pins for the back of like a lapel pin? Uh-huh. I, I was like, that's perfect because one side is the flat side and the other side has the little brads, uh -huh. right? So you just put a liner on your lapels with, and those, with those brads in them nice. and then you can just pop it onto whatever fabric you want and just pull it right off. And she said it worked perfectly. So if any of you guys out there are making like the leather lapels to go on a nice jacket, a denim jacket, whatever kind of jacket you want, those little butterfly uh, lapel yeah. pins that you can buy for like $5 yeah. for 20 like of them like or whatever. Like pin. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. You just stick it in your lining. Nice. And then it just fits. And she said it looked great on the, on the jacket. There wasn't any puckering. So it was perfect. You wow. just put it. Yeah. And I was I like, I wish I would have thought about that because... Would have never thought of that. N n now it's difficult to wash my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> got to do like a pit cleanup. A pit cleanup. The pit. The got to go into the pits. Yeah. Make a pit stop. Yeah. I think she said she just picked them up at Hobby Lobby. But I, like Amazon has a pack that's super cheap. Isaac, can you turn on the air conditioning? Otherwise, I'm going to die. I'm, I feel nice and comfortable. I feel like I'm... I'm press a lot of buttons that I don't know how to press today. I'm assuming the one that says on. Yeah, and then you probably need to change from the heat, the little setting. There's a little setting dial. Uh, here, can you just bring it to me so I can look at it? Come on, Isaac, you got it. I mean, I probably figured it out. You're going to hit this mode button until the little triangle is underneath that one. The little icicle. Or, it's not an icicle. It's a snowflake. It's a snowflake. <laughs> it's a cold thing. It could be an icicle. I guess it's a form of icicle. So Liz, that looked really cool. Well, I thought I'd do SLC colors. It looks know. like a bunch of bullseyes in there. Yep. Uh, My yellow is too thick. And it's not spreading. Or maybe my solution. I made, I put five tablespoons in the solution. And I feel like maybe it was, it's too thick. But I had been playing around with how many to put in because some of it was too thin. Like when I would do four tablespoons, it was a little bit on the thin side and my paint would just fall through. So then I was like, well, maybe I'll go a little bit thicker to force the paint to stay on top. But I think this might be too thick. Hi, Luna. Where are you going, baby girl? Oh, because there's customers out there. Ah, there it is. They're just watching. Just. She couldn't figure out what she wanted to do leave or bark at them. 
She's like, but they're live. They shouldn't bark. I don't know if she is that aware of what's happening. Oh. I would like to think that she is, because I basically think that she's a person. Luna, stop. Luna, come here. Come here. How's it going, Tony? I'm just painting the background. Tony, you're doing just a wonderful job. I appreciate it. I haven't that. had to spot you yet. Isaac keep moving the camera, because I guess I'm moving out of the frame. You gotta watch that part. Eh, it's fine. I'm just going back and forth between you and those. Well, I looked up some pictures of lotus flowers, which is what those supposedly are. Mm -hmm. And some are white, some are pink, some are kind of lavender. So we're we gonna blue. You have the choice of colors. You can paint some different colors. I appreciate you doing that research for me. Uh -huh. Then, of course, the vine work, that's probably a, a shade of green. Oh, wouldn't you think? I, I would Open. venture to say that green would work for vines. <laughs> would you venture to say that? Yeah. Thank you. Uh huh. Are you going to wear this tie, Denny? No. What? Well, I might for a minute. I don't know. Where should I wear it to? Uh, Sheridan. Sheridan. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Sheridan's coming up in a month or two, isn't it? It is. Have you heard any news? No, they no, you, they don't tell you any news until you show. They up. don't tell you that. They yeah, don't tell you that. Night of it's. I mean, did they tell you that they received your stuff? No. Oh, I perfect. Heard, but I haven't heard that they didn't either. So or that I did it wrong or something. So. <laughs> Nothing has been wrong, so he assumes everything is all right. Well, yeah, no news is good news, right? That's heard that right. in a movie one time. But it's like the Academy Awards of, of Leathercraft. They, they present it on the night of the shebang. That's right. I've never been out there. I haven't either. I don't get to go. I'm a liability. Today? Today? Well, today? You're leaving today? No. Oh. Today's the day I can say <laughs> that I'm going. There's a lot of bubbles on this. Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles. What tool did you use for that? All sorts of different sized cedars. Just plain cedars, not the... Mm, just a single? Yeah, not the corrugated type. Some of them have little little starburst lines on them, but mm -hmm. just the plain ones. We'll see how it goes, guys. Why is it so cold in here? Are you cold? Get smacked. Let me get you a, a wrap. Let me get you another hoodie. You cut your hair too short. That's why it's cold. You got your waiters? Do I? I got. There is a pair of waiters in the truck. They're a little leaky. That's why they're just laying in the back of the truck. Oh, nice. Where are you needing to set that at? Subtle. That is neat. I like it. Sorry. <clears throat> Pretty. Can you switch to that overhead there? I think it's beautiful. That's not bad. I grabbed a piece of, or Denny for me, grabbed a piece of the the yellow drum dyed from the other week, and I was going to back it with that. And then we could sew it in blue. Oh, very nice. Let's see here. I have another half. We're going to try so to do something So are you going to wear else. it? Yeah.
Absolutely. Where are you going to wear it at? Oh. Wear it in there. Yeah. Wear it around the house. You know. Sheridan? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on in the chat, Denny? I don't know. I can't see it from here. <laughs> I can't see it if I was a foot from it, probably. Eugene Johnson is finally getting to go to the leather show. They only live five hours away and never made it, so they're going to go this year. Very nice. Awesome. Will you get to meet Denny in person? Hopefully with a ward in hand. Oh, no. Let's not oh. let's not count any chickens right now. I got six of them at the house. Do you, I heard you had chickens. Yeah. How is that going for you? It's very clucky. Very clucky. Are they chicks? Big yeah. Chicks? They're <laughs> maybe five weeks or so. Does your uh -huh. dog like them? They're still in the brooder. She looks at them. They don't care when she looks at them. <laughs> Does she pick them up and pet them? No. Squeeze them? They don't no. ride on her yet? They're behind the chicken wire, so they don't. We almost have the, the hen house all done. Building the hen house. Gonna have a little yard out in it. Mm-hmm. So they can get out and scratch at the so ground. Gonna have a, a top on it? Yep. Metal roof. I mean, on the, on the yard? Yep. Metal roof. Oh, cool. That way the hawks don't get in. Yeah, I was going to say, because we have be, problems with that. <laughs> be, and coons. <clears throat> yeah, there'll be wires that go underground just a little bit too, so nothing can try to dig. Nice. Dig to get underneath it. Denny, do you have chickens? Oh, no, yeah. the hawks took them. Yeah. <laughs> he always had chickens. <laughs> <clears throat> we had chickens, and we had a, a coon get in and got a chicken a while back. We live in the middle of town, and the coon was in there. How many chickens you got? Uh, we have eight now. We started with ten this year, or this last year. So you lost two already? One, I forget. <clears throat> I forget what happened to the first one, but the second one the coon got. Mm. And the coon was hanging upside down in, in the chicken yard deal, because it just got chicken wire on top. Yeah. I don't know how it got in. I still don't know for the life of me. But it will never get in anywhere else again. <laughs> Denny has coonified his thing. We had a possum on our back porch this weekend. Did you? Yeah, I went to let the dogs out, and then I saw something scurry across, and I was like, that's not my cat. <laughs> and I shut the door real fast before the dogs could get out. And then he climbed <clears throat> up into this, like, bush thing that's on the back side of our front porch and then just stared at us from the top of our porch. For a while, Chris has a video of it up there doing its thing. It was Did cute. it play possum? No, it didn't Not pretend moving. like it was duck. Oh, no, no, he was just kind of tootling around up there. <laughs> when I first moved back to my farm in 1986, the old farmhouse it was old and it had a really old-fashioned kitchen that had had plumbing just stubbed in mm -hmm. later on in life. And there was a big hole underneath the kitchen cabinet where the where the drain pipe went through. Yeah. It was about a three inch hole and an inch and a half pipe, right? <clears throat> well, and under the sink is where we kept the, the kitchen trash bag. Okay. And one night, about late in the night, while I was sleeping, I started hearing stuff rustling around. And I got up and went in the kitchen where it was coming from and finally opened up that cabinet door and there was two baby possums in the trash. Baby, <laughs> the size of your fist. His mama so was I, like, this is a good spot for so you. I picked them up by the tail, took them out in the barn lot where there was two big old cottonwood trees and reached up as high as I could and they latched on like, oh, like little, mm -hmm. little deals and started climbing up and I thought, we'll never have trouble from them again. Yeah. So about an hour later, I heard it again, and there was two more baby possums in there. I don't know how many baby possums Mama had, but that happened two or three times. Finally, I decided I probably ought to fix that hole in the bottom of the cabinet, and I did. <laughs> but <clears throat> possums, they know where they live, so it doesn't matter how far I walked out in the barn lot, they were coming back. Mm -hmm. Mom probably called them back. Yeah. Smart little possums. Yeah. Baby possums are really cute. Big possums, if you grab them by the tail, they hiss and slobber at you. Yeah. And they show their... They're they are They are kind of homely looking. 
Those little baby ones are pretty adorable, though. Yep. Well, how's it going, Tony? I think I might have got it all on the background. All right. You want me to clean your brush? Yeah, that'd you? be delightful. Yeah, and you you can pick whatever color that you want to and do flowers. Should I start with the flowers or should I start with the green next? You start with whatever you want to. I'm going to do the green next. If you do, I'll tell you, I would probably tone that green down a little bit with some... With some... Dye reducer. Did you bring the dye reducer? Yes, I got a 40 gallon jug of it there. <laughs> 40 gallons? Well, yeah, it quite, says quite 32 hard. ounces on it, but... Oh. Well, you want to be specific. I don't know the metric system. Uh-oh. Now I'm going to have a green hand. What did you just say? It's a joke. <laughs> you are going to have a green <clears throat> from here on. Yep. You got some more gloves out there, Elizabeth? I sure do. I'm going to put some diapers here on my hand. I think that's two. Oops. It didn't happen. What'd you get on it? Some of your... I may have dropped it right there. In your on, slime? In my slime. Yeah, I slimed it for you. I have to go out to the sander and sand my fingerprints off. Yeah, I need eventually to be. In a year or two, you'll have brand new skin there. I'll never know that was green. In a year or two. Are you not allowed to have colors on your hands? Oh, I just would rather not. <laughs> Only your toes get painted? Mm hmm. What do you think? Whoops. You guys see that little spray up there? Alright. I don't know what's about to happen. And I'd say do it whether it's right or not. Okay. Oh, nice. The thickener is... I already showed it. Okay. I showed a little thing of the package. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I think... That big one I paid like 25, 30 bucks for or something. But it lasts, you can make several, several gallons. Green is really traveling. And then you want to use uh, like filtered water. What is that called? Distilled, Distilled water, thank you. It's not terrible. Oh, I gotta, I gotta dip this actual guy. Um, I, water marbling, I believe, is the more technical term. Water marbling, yeah. This is really neat, you guys. <laughs> watching other people do stuff. Yeah. I don't even have to sweat today. You didn't even have to turn on YouTube. You just in here watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Does Denny normally have to turn on YouTube? I guess if he wants to watch people do stuff. With leather working, unless he just watches himself. I never watch myself. No. Me either. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. How do you do such a good job tooling then? Huh? How do you do so good, such a good job tooling if you don't watch? I watch what I'm doing, I just don't watch myself doing it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it this time. Glad you like that for a smart alley answer. I just kept coming on and like, ah. It works out. Huh? 
This one runs a lot more than the quarter of them did. Oh, I didn't do it the right way. What? Just just a, a hint of what I do. After I, I load my brush, uh -huh. a lot of times I'll blot it off on that paper towel so it won't run quite so bad. <clears throat> yeah, this is really thick. But you do what you want. That's what I'm doing. You're the boss on this deal. I'm just the spot. Do whatever you want, Tony. I'm telling you when you've done wrong, but I won't tell you if you're doing right. Do, do you know Tony to not do what he wants? How do you feel about the green that you reduced? I think it's very nice. That's good. Because it, it, when we <clears> put <throat> a dye reducer on it, it made it more subtle. Or if you want to be phonically correct, subtle. Subtle. <laughs> Why did you not do it the oh, right way? Picked it up, you were to oh, sorry. I'm assuming that's what you Sorry. Because. Because I'm backwards. This is never going to drain. Oh, nice. There it is. That's a lot of color. I'm glad you can put that right there where I could put my arm in it. Are you ever going to put your elbow this way? I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just went over that. No, I just didn't pull it out of the bucket the right way so that you guys could see it. That's what happened. That's I don't know. I think it's pretty nice. cool. Very nice. I feel like I need to hang it up so the stuff runs off of it. My solution is a little thick, guys. It's a little on the thick side for what I would prefer. But I did not bring any extra distilled water with me. I should have filled up a jug last night and brought extra. You have to use distilled water with it? Mm -hmm. It's ideal so that there's not impurities that could affect, I don't know, maybe how the, the paint comes out or whatever. Quiet show today. <clears throat> Denny, you're supposed to be our talker. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Tell us about your weekend. Okay, here's what I did for the weekend. I'm building a she shed for my wife. Mm -hmm. What's she gonna do in it? Well, she might just hang out out there. <laughs> like Denny, this is. I don't know. She'll put all of her gardening tools, her little hand cart that she carries around, and all of her dirt. And sand. And All of stuff. her dirt. Yeah, she's got dirt everywhere. Her dirt storage. Yeah. That's funny. But we were at Costco and we saw this shed. I saw that shed. It's a big shed. Yes, it is. And she said, oh, I'm lusting after that shed. And I said, do you really want that shed? And she said, yes, I'm going to buy it. And I said, okay, if you buy it, I'll put it up. <laughs> So she bought it, but little did I realize I have to have a place, a, a flat spot, and a floor to put that thing on. It has a floor in it, but if you just put it out on grass or something, mm -hmm. it's not going to stay together well. No, yeah. You so I, some concrete. I had to. I had to Denny's build, leveling earth. I had to build a subfloor for it and <laughs> level that all up, and then I started to put it together. Mm -hmm. After I spent half the day yesterday <coughs> building this floor. Yeah. And then I said, okay, I'm ready to put this thing up. And it, the first thing on the instruction says, here are your prefabrication instructions. So I had to prefab. <laughs> it has a set of rolling barn doors. Mm -hmm. And I had to put all the latches and all the rollers and all the 
the That's rails right. and everything on the door. And then it said, okay, now here are the window headers above the door that had glass and well, plexiglass mm -hmm. and a gutter and all this and that. It's so got I got a gutter. That. And then it said, now you can put on, you can put the floor on your, your magical leveled up base. So that's what I got done yesterday. Nice. But, and I was tired when I got done last night. Were you? Because I'm old. <laughs> Denny, did you treat this tie with anything? No. It no. Is, it is raw. Okay. It's ready for whatever you want to do. Okay. And what are you going to do to that tie? I don't know. I'm going to dip it. In your thick solution? In my thick water. <laughs> Heavy water. <laughs> Heavy water. There you what dye is There was a totally movie easy. about that. That's The Germans made heavy mm -hmm. water. That's what they made their... Uh, what, what were they making? Atomic bombs? Mm -hmm. With heavy water? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I learned about that on West Wing. <laughs> I think David Niven was the star of the movie. Was it called Heavy Water? Mm -hmm. Heavy Water. Yes. That's a good name. There was another movie that David Niven was in. I always remember him because of his little thin, trim mustache. that looks mustache. really pretty. How about the leather? It looks <laughs> even prettier. Oh, okay. But David Niven was in a movie called The Guns of Navarone. Yes. Which were some big guns that the Germans had in a cave mm -hmm. in Navarone. Hmm. And the Americans' job was to get rid of those guns of Navarone. David Niven just, he did his job. There were no more. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody what colors of dye Tony's using? Okay, Tony is using uh, Angelus leather dye in the color of green. I did use cordovan first and, on the background. Yes, he used Angelus cordovan dye on the background. Undiluted. Undiluted. And he diluted the... I diluted it some and Denny didn't think it was enough, so Denny yeah. diluted it more. Well, it just... Too bright a green is too bright a green. Is this part of my, this is yes. part of that, okay. Yes. Did you know that too bright a green is too bright a green? Yeah. I've heard that somewhere before. But then for the flowers, he has a choice of Angelus Light Rose, Burgundy, uh, I don't think the Burgundy, the Burgundy would be pretty dark, so let's not. We're gonna do that. light, we're gonna do Light Rose and Light Rose and, and Purple. purple. Because lotus flowers can be white, but as we all know, you can't dye leather white. That is correct. So we're you can gonna, paint it white. You can paint it white, yes. Why can't you dye it white? But this is a non-painted article. This is dyed. There's no white that's going to... White. Why, why doesn't white work? Like white and gray are not, col like, are not colors of dye that you can buy. Yeah. Like, it has to be acrylic. It has to be a paint. Yeah, there's no way to... to because they're they're lighter than, than the leather itself. Yeah. You know, they have so many light colors. Because like gray when is I, a combination of colors. Yeah, when I first started here, Phoebe's had a white and a gray dye. They came in... They came in glass bottles. Like, it was a... It was a quart that it came in, and it was a glass bottle... And it was weird, like it would all settle to the bottom, you had to shake it up, and it was more like a wash. Like it wasn't, like it was never like you're going to get a true solid white or a true solid gray. And then eventually, like maybe two years after I started, so it's probably been at least a decade, if not longer, they were discontinued by Phoebe's. Yeah. You know, people, I've, people have used that uh, homemade vinegar, vinegaroon dye, mm -hmm. you know, you can kind of get a gray out of that. Well, and I think but there's still, been a couple they, people that have made a gray with with some dye options. Like, there's a couple holster makers out there that have done some things, and I've seen I've seen their work on on social where they'll get some sort of a gray, not white. That you just have to paint white. Yeah, you just gotta paint white. Why did you pick Angel's dyes for me instead of Phoebe? Because it has such a, a, a nice color array. 
Angelus makes a lot of, of uh, nice colors. And Phoebe's makes colored dyes too, but Angelus they don't have has a, more their, colors. Angelus color palette is more vibrant. Yeah. All those young kids out there painting their shoes, dyeing their shoes. Yeah. Fine job. I appreciate that. I have to let you know that. I worked on my painting skills this weekend. Did you nope. practice? Nope. Got warmed up. Yep. I worked on a chicken house. You want to see it? Yeah, I do want to see your chicken house. All right. I'll take pictures of mine and you, you guys can compare can chicken compare coops. My, my hodgepodge stuff. Actually, when we were closed down over COVID, Mm -hmm. That's when I built the chicken yard. I thought I've got to do something while we're closed down. Yeah, you you didn't have a lot to do, did you? No, we were. How long were we down? Three months. Oh, you want to say we? How long? <laughs> I you you were working seventy six hours a day. Yeah, I I have I have strong feelings about everybody that got a nice COVID vacation. I mean, I was still at home, but I was working on the website and the catalog at the same time. See, Tony didn't get a nice COVID vacation. Denny, though. Okay, I'm not <laughs> on a vacation. It's okay, me too, Denny. And, and, uh, and my chicken is I played good. disc golf with my boss that had to lay me off. <laughs> he walks up and he goes, well, we're shut down for a while, which means you have nothing to do. I want to go play disc golf tomorrow. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah, the world is divided into like the people that stayed home during COVID and then the people that lives were insane during COVID. I sometimes I really do wish that I was the person that got to stay home. I would have gotten so many projects done. Like I'm sure you did. That's the only thing I got done. Those projects. A big ass chicken yard. Yeah. Well, I'm like like Reverend Jim on Taxi. Did you guys ever watch the Taxi? Mm-hmm. Reverend Jim said he spent a whole year of his life macramaying a couch. <laughs> macramaying a couch? That sounds fun. Yeah. I didn't macramay a couch. I spent three months of my life building a chicken pen. And then the hawks took them. I'm pretty sure you're okay. I hope that you're okay. If not, I'm always thinking about it. There's a lot of green on this. We'll wait here. Kind of clown colors. Cool. <laughs> Making a clown tie. After it swirls, it should be less clowny, hopefully. <laughs> we need to see your clown. What kind of chickens do you have? What chickens you got, Denny? We have uh, three Americanas, or what's left, and four, uh, what are they called? Cinnamon. Something. Cinnamon something. Cinnamon cluckers. Cinnamon cluckers. <laughs> Mother cluckers. I don't know. They're big red hens. The, now the Araconas, they're wild chickens. Wild chickens? Wild. Yeah. What's wild? Araconda? Araconda. Araconda. Why are they wild? Uh, these are Americana, which are, are crossbred from Araconas. I don't know why they're wild. They just are. One of you guys needs to get one of those big old giant chickens, like the, I don't, I don't think it's Bermuda, but it's something that starts with a B that's like the huge, giant, fluffy ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have six. They're all the same. What are they? Rhode Island Reds. Rhode Island Reds. They'll be egg layers. That's what she wanted. So it's for a FFA project, and so she had to put in her her costs 
and then her uh, the credits the the money that she makes off of them. Uh-huh. How much is she paying you to build her coop? It's being donated. <laughs> That's what my neighbor has, is fuzzy-headed chickens. Yeah, Alright guys, wish me luck. I don't know what kind of... Okay. This is, this is Herman Oak, so it, it may, may not anxious. go as well. Good luck. Thanks. Frickin' bubble. Kind of funky, but it's not a bubble. Ah! Well, we'll see what happens. Cinnamon Queen? Cinnamon Queen, yes. That's exactly what they are. That's an interesting name. And they're yeah, big we fat got a red hands. Funky little whoop de doo, but we all got a little bit funky in our whoop de doos. You get used to it after a while. That's not terrible. Let's I see like if it. Little, I like see it. See, there's a little whoop de doo from where I dropped it. Let's see if the swooshy will come off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kind of bleeding away, isn't it? Uh huh. That's nice. It's all right. If you don't look at it too hard, it's fine. Hey. Even if you look at it hard, it looks good. <laughs> I like it. Uh... Yeah, Chris really wants to get chickens, but his dad has them now, so we get free eggs, which is nice. Chris can eat about five to six dozen eggs a week, so it's nice five when or they're six free. Dozen? Yeah. He makes uh he makes French toast. Mm, and he French toast. he yeah, that's his nightly snack. Is he makes a whole plate of French he makes like a loaf and a half does he put, <laughs> French toast. Does he put syrup on the French toast? Yeah, it's sugar free syrup. It's a whole thing. Yeah, so he's got he he's found his favorite sugar free syrup. It's at Walmart. It's like this Lincoln uh uh not Lincoln. Um does it have a little cabin on Yes, the, the little cabin one. Yeah. Log cabin. Whatever, I maybe I don't know. Yeah. It's the only sugar-free syrup that I actually like. Yeah, it's it's a good one, and so he buys that, and then he makes this little like fruit thing, and so he puts he has like compote. Yeah, fruit compote. That's what it is. Very nice. Ten eggs a day. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think the French toast is like eight eggs on it, so maybe it's more than that. Yeah, because we're we're egging up a loaf and a half. <laughs> but he doesn't use the yolks, so the dogs get the yolks. Really? Yeah, he'll, he'll put a couple in there for flavor, but they have a lot of fat in them. Oh. And so he does sometimes, but we get a lot of free eggs from his oh, father. Oh, that's true. So, yeah. and the dogs like the yolks. Yeah, I'm not mad about that. That's all right. Now that's that's a flower right there. That's a flower. Yeah. Okay. The what's, what's bud. not peeking out from behind the okay. thing. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. It was about to be green. That's why I was telling you, because <laughs> I knew you were gonna paint that.
stopped me just in time. Could have stopped me, started me a little sooner because it's got a little green on it. That's that up. one's gonna be purple. You know why? Because purple will cover green. That's right. Kind of like rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> green, purple, yellow. <laughs> Man. Last night I was I was making up some extra blue, yellow, maybe it was these two blues. I think it was these two blues I was mixing up and yellow. And then I had them all in my, like my little daubers were all going into the same, like, okay, I'm done with you now. So I put them in this little water bucket and they made the most beautiful green together. And I was like, I should really mix these. <laughs> and then I didn't have time. But well, what kind of, what kind of colors are those? Are those Angelus just paint. Are acrylic paint? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just our Angelus paint uh, diluted with with the distilled water. Oh. So. What's the reasoning behind distilled water? I think it's just to get out any impurities or the, the, um, the minerals that are in the water so that it doesn't react with whatever you're doing. I, I've never tried it with non-distilled water, so I couldn't tell you if it's different, but that's just what the instructions say to do. Maybe that's what I started using, because I react pretty bad to a lot of things. <laughs> do you drink distilled water? I should. No, you shouldn't. That's bad for you. You distilled need the minerals. Distilled water is bad? Yeah, it doesn't have any minerals in it. Oh. That's how you get all your minerals, is oh. usually through your water. Okay, and if you uh, take all that out, then you have to put it back in somehow, otherwise you'll be mineral deficient, and then... And things aren't good. Okay, I'm <laughs> Don't do that. My mom does it and it drives me crazy. I bought her like little mineral squirt things to put back in her distilled water. Cause she's like, the water's gonna kill me. And I'm like, yeah, or your teeth will fall out because you're not getting the minerals that you need. <laughs> Don't drink distilled water, guys. Not very often, anyway. Yeah. Not on a regular or, basis. Exactly. If, if you're, you're really thirsty, back in it. if you're dehydrated, you don't have anything else to drink. If you were it's not gonna out help. in the ocean on a, <laughs> on a life raft, and dehydrated? you had to drink with distilled water, would that be okay? Uh, I'm. It's not ideal. Because there's not. There's, you your might body be out there for weeks at a time. Y yeah. Do you need to poop? What is going on? No, I'm good. There you go. Listen, my dogs have had diarrhea all week. That's why I wasn't here on Friday. And so I'm just a little bit... She's doing good. You're concerned. But I am. I do get concerned. It's all those egg yolks. <laughs> no. <laughs> all that distilled water they haven't yeah. been drinking. Luna doesn't they get... Too many minerals. Luna doesn't get any treats at home because she gets so many treats here. Hey, can you get off me? <laughs> yeah, man. Early, Tony's not interested. Into the camera and she bumped in the wire and she just literally... She's upset by everything today. Brahma chickens, that's what it is. Thanks, Esau. The Brahma I knew it started with a B. They're the ones with the fuzzy heads? They're the really big ones. Oh, the big ones. Mm-hmm. The big boys. They're like dinosaur chickens. Have you ever seen the chickens that lay like completely black eggs? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Weird. Black egg chickens? Our, our Americanas. Like green and blue eggs. They're the Easter, Easter egg variety. Yeah. Nice. I like those. They're cute. Oh, there's the green. Oh, no. oh nope. I missed a little. Missed a little All right. P pigments don't always play well with others. Distilled water helps prevent um, yeah, unexpected that reactions. Yeah, that one too. Thanks. Very observant, Tony. Thank you. Very observant. Yeah, I'll be here all day. Dean, I think I think the dog is fine here. She does good. Yep. You've done wonderfully. Look at that. Now you just gotta paint your flowers. It's beautiful. Yes, you've done a wonderful job. Wonderful. Who knew you're so artsy? I'm off so fartsy. Mostly. <laughs> Let's do some purple. I got 10 minutes. Feathers on their feet. The They're so chickens. cute. Okay. Careful. All right, guys. There you go, there's the chicken house. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a lot nicer than so, my chicken house. So the, bigger. The lane box is back behind there, and then there'll be a little two by six that comes out of there, and they can bebop up in there. Roost on. Yeah, but, so they can get into oh. the hen house. Oh. And then this will have a door on it, but the door will have a window in it, so you can raise the window up and reach in there. You don't have to open the door all the way, so they can have some light in there. Very nice. That's and then everything else will be wrapped with chicken wire. Now, is that inside right now? Yeah. And you're just going to carry it out? Mm hmm Or are you going to leave it in? No, it's going to come outside so they can <laughs> peck and scratch at the ground, get the worms out there. Now that you've built a coop, are you just going to have chickens now? Yep. Is that your new life? It's, yeah. It's chickens. Do I need you're to delete this? you husband. Oh, I didn't do my... Did you get my red on my green? No, it's right here. I forgot to paint those. Uh, I'll keep it and you can paint them later. Am I using this full strength, you think? I'd say. Okay. We'll see what happens. Here's this one that I gotta make purple. Nice. I can't see very well with that in the way. You did... Eugene, did you just say that you got some Brahma chickens? You'll have to send some pictures once they're bigger than the chicks. One time we got some tanned chicken legs. They were the tiniest little legs ever. Oh, yeah. Remember those? Mm -hmm. I think you made like a watch band out of them. Yeah. yeah. They look like ostrich legs, but just like this big. Yeah. <laughs> aren't near as big as ostrich. No, Other I think there's a little bit of a difference. Chickens even aren't as big. N no, they're not. <laughs> Has there ever been turkey leg crusts? Would that be the term? Yes, I think that would be the term. I have not seen any turkey legs. I think I'm going to need to dilute that a little bit. Do you? My purple flower is turning gold. Look at its reflections. It's gilded. It's a gilded flower. Mm -hmm. If I can do this with you could do a couple really dark. Or maybe just the one, and then, or like maybe like the outside petals dark, and then the inside petals lighter. Do like some highlights and some low lights, like your wife's hair. She has low lights. I, don't, I haven't seen her in a minute, but I assume <laughs> her blonde has dimension. So gilded. Ooh. Should have daubed it out just a little bit. That's alright. Alright. We got turkeys. Ours are not Marion. What are ours? Tyson. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Some wild Tyson chickens that like found their way out of the out of the trucks as they got moved. <laughs> There was one crossing sunset. I feel like it was, I was on my way to work and it was during COVID because I remember just the roads were super quiet and uh, there was just like a turkey in the middle of the road one morning as I was on my way in and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, a domestic turkey or a wild turkey? I mean, it was on, I don't, I, I assumed it was a wild turkey. Was it white or? No, he gray, was dark. Dark? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably wild. He lost, <laughs> confused. He's like, this looks like the country. Ain't nobody on the streets. I ain't about to get hit. I'm hungry. Me too. I'd eat a turkey. Yeah, speaking of turkey. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I want to 
wanted to show you guys this and you could show everyone else this. I just thought come, it was the come in here and show coolest what it little is. thing. A customer sent that in that he made that. That is so adorable. It's a little yeah. tuler. Tooling. Guy, tooling leather. How wonderful. Who sent it? It's on a uh, Don Ron. Ron Mort Mortz. The yeah. guy that made our stuff. Really? Mortiz. Oh, Mortiz. Ron. Yeah. yeah. He also sent uh, Kevin a, a trading card. He's just sending us one present at a time no over kidding. here. I'm like very. I'm like this is my new like desk toy because I was like this is awesome. I was That's like that neat. is so cool. All right, if you're if if you have anything to do with horses and you need a farrier and you're over in Southern California, Southern California, look up Ron. His name is Ron, and then get your get your ferry and done from Ron. Get your horses' shoes. Your <laughs> I don't know what the correct <laughs> term is. How cute is that? That is neat. Is he said he. Yeah, yeah. He has like he has it like tooled and has. It is. It's it's a little. It's a camouflage. He stamped a camo tool in there. And you put like a little oh, nice. underneath it too. Like, it, dude spent some time on it. It's awesome. Yeah. He said that this is, he was going to start doing this. He was doing the tooling, but then he had arthritis or there was something. It was hard for him to hold the tool so small. And so this is what his, like, other hobby is. Mm -hmm. And he was feeling good enough. I think he had some uh, some health problems those, at the end of the year. Those are horseshoe nails in a big washer. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I can't remember if he had a some a bolt and yeah, there's a couple nuts. A bolt that he's sitting on and a nut. Yeah, that's so cute. Thank you had, so much, Ron. I think he had a stroke. Is this a stroke or a heart attack? Heart attack. Yeah. Heart attack. Yeah. Yeah, but he's doing better and he's been enjoying our videos. He found he's uh, tapes his. He sent Kevin a little trading card and he taped it down to paper so he could toilet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Lord help me. Toilet. He, he toilets leather, guys. Yeah, wow. I just saw the way it went move around and stuff. I was like, well, that's a cool way to do it. And yeah. He pulled the paper down and I was like, okay, you little crafty guy. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Box. Thanks yeah. for showing us, Lauren. Yeah, thanks, it's Lauren. adorable. <laughs> I love it. Made my day. That's so pretty, Tony. Thanks. I think I'm all purpled out. Okay. What other, wait, hold on. What other colors do I have? Now you've got a light rose, which I think would be good. Just dump some rose in there, would you, for me? Sure. Just dump it in there? Yeah. Just kind of change colors? It was perfect, then you like set it down and then it just was perfectly in frame of the exact color you're using. Nice. I don't know what the, didn't really change it very much. You can dump a little more in. Well, here, hold on. Well, why don't you do a new pipe. cup and do like a 50-50? Yeah, pipe, got it. Pipe me some. Let's see. Let's let's pipe some of this. Okay, go to the overhead for a second. I'll show it off. That's that's nice and bright. You want some of this in there? All right, now. That was good. Pipe me some of that. Yeah, keep going. More? I think so. Oh. Now I've got it on me, Tony. Look how pretty. Okay, hang on, let me see, let me see what's happening. Are you going to do this one right here in the pink? Yeah, this one is going to, I'm going to try to keep going. I'm going to try to get a lighter purple. Yeah. So a lighter purple. This one, maybe that one. Mm -hmm. And then do pink. For probably this one and that one. Keep okay. the pink ones together right in the middle because pink should be right in the middle isn't that gorgeous everybody wouldn't you wear this tie totally wear this tie let me go with that has anybody made a tie since last friday you can pipe me out of pink now pipe you a pink huh okay here comes a pink i'm piping and that's a good purple It's like it kind of wants to be a. It's like it's got hints of red in it. Yeah, like a, like, like a not a fuchsia, like a lilac maybe, lilac-y, like a dark sure. lilac. Who would have thought it'd take a whole hour to paint a tie?
What is this up here? Uh, that was a green deal. That that's <laughs> supposed to be green. We got yeah. green. Yeah, we still got green. Oh, it wasn't that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. what are you gonna do with all these colors you got made up here? I don't know. <laughs> Probably toss them out. Looks like you got some painting in store for you. <laughs> Brahma Mamas. Brahma Mama. Brahma Mama. Bra Brahma Mamas. See, Sauce got some Brahma Mamas. All right. Brahma Brahmas. Uh, what'd you do with your. Uh, let me see. It's right here. Anybody got turkeys that they would Isaac wants to know if he can come poach a turkey. I don't know. I don't want, that's a strong word. Don't, don't need like to be poaching, word. just it's going to borrow one for eating purposes. Yeah, just going to borrow it. I'll give you back some feathers. Yeah. That'll be nice. Place every time I drive home. I've seen turkeys. What is that? Is that part of the farm? I have to yeah. figure out who owns that. Just be like, me. <laughs> I would like a turkey, please. I think I try to paint this one. I pay you ten dollars. A drop of our diluted into the rose. Maybe. Denny, if I probably the a spray on finish. Uh Larry for the Python. I would use like the Masters Quick Shine or or the Sadillac, or you could probably even spray on any one of the Angelus finishes. Yeah. But I would, I would see so that way you can kind of get in and around the scales and this and that. And I think a spray finish would be good. Yeah, I'd always put a spray finish on over a wipe on if I had a choice. Mm hmm. You can even take a wipe on and put it in a sprayer. Yeah. I think we got 20 of those cordless sprayers left. Oh, those little... Uh-huh, uh wireless ones? Yeah. Wireless and tubeless, the USB charged ones, the battery charged mm -hmm. ones. Compressorless. What do you think? I love it. I like it. Now you want a little shot of purple in there for that other one? Yep. A little shot of purple. <laughs> one shot, one shot one of purple. Shot. Maybe, maybe another one. Probably another one. Want a little more? <laughs> Probably a little more. Probably just empty that whole pot pad in there. Well, that'll be all right. Oh yeah. And another one. <laughs> Yo, you want a little more? Here, one. This is a experimental, you guys. Yeah, we got our experiment card outside <laughs> the door. Just a shot, a subtle change. Yeah. Just one's making, in the shadow and one's in the sun. We're just making happy accidents. That's what I say when I tinkle. Good job, Bob. When I tinkle a little bit. It's just a happy little accident. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Someone asked if they could use acrylics on the Python. Acrylics on what? The Python. Yeah, well, I. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's what was used on it. This is like the Hydro Dipping is Angelus paint that's been uh, thinned out as well, so it moves better. I, I, I just, like, you could just paint over it. But the cool thing about doing uh, the dyeing or even this Hydro Dipping is you can still see through it. And I would be a little bit worried, like, you can still see the actual color of the snake scales. Because this is... This is the natural snake, right? And it has all this color variation. Whenever you either dye it with light colors, like what Tony's using here, 
um, or do the hydro dipping, you can still see through the paint and you can see like the coloration of the scales through it. But if you were to use just straight up paint or a really dark dye, at some point you're not going to be able to see the scales anymore. So, sorry. This is... So you can still see the color of the scales through it. Uh, you just experiment before you go full bore and do your project and make sure you're going to like what you get. There we go. I have it. Oh, no, shoot. You got one up there. Pick your color. What are you going to do up there? Yeah, green and this. That'd make another nice combination. Changes tonality? Yeah, tonality. Okay. Toninalities? That's gonna, gonna be looking dead now. It's gonna be a little brown. I can't see. You can't oh. see? Yeah, we can't see what you're doing. Isaac will come. That's better. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Perhaps a few mini Highlanders. That's what they call the S Scottish drummers at Hillcrest, the Highlanders. Aren't those those cute little cows? The Highland cow? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to get me a farm, get me an FDA loan, get me mm -hmm. some Highland cows. Run a little farm out there. You want a, you want a Highland cow? I'll keep it for you out there. <laughs> keep it till it's fat and I'll eat it. Okay. They're supposed <laughs> to be really good meat. It's supposed to be really good for you. <laughs> yeah, they say that about all of them. Okay, now we're done. That's a very good job, Tony. I'm so impressed. Now that looks wait. like an Easter Father's Day tie. <laughs> wait, to, wait till it's antique, though. That'll really make it look great, I think. Wow, I did a good job. You did do a good job. Did you job. get that one little green leaf? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Look at me go. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll post a picture when it's all antiqued of the finished product. That will be a Isaac to do. <laughs> High five. That nice job. Lame. Well, I didn't know if I had any paint on my glove. Now we can have it. Woo! There we go. Thanks, Denny, for letting Thank us you. join you for your video. Thank you. And painting your ties. Now, did you talk you, about how you're going to finish the top? I'm paint. <laughs> did you do that? In what? the Did you do that on Friday, how to finish the top? You just fold it over and tack it? We talked about it. You did? Okay, perfect. Just wanted to make sure. We didn't show it happened. We just talked about it. Okay. Yeah, Denny good, did a good job getting that green shade. It's a nice green. Okay, we're going to do other stuff now. You guys can go do other stuff too. Live shopping tomorrow, Friday. We're going to do something different. Do you know what it's going to be? Yes, we're going to start that necklace, right? On Friday? Friday? Yeah. Are we? Oh, I thought Friday we were not here, but we can start the necklace, yes. Are we not here Friday? Are yeah, you here Friday? according to your deal. Oh, yeah, we're off because everybody's gone Friday. So Tony's gone and Justin's gone. And so it's spring break at Springfield Leather. I mean, <laughs> Justin's gone tomorrow, and that will make live shopping fun. <laughs> so long. Go, Isaac. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You're supposed to click on there. You got it. <laughs> well, I, don't know I think I will see if I can get these outside and dump them out on asphalt. How does that sound? Sounds all right. Tony, that's really pretty. You did a good job, too, Lyndon. He did a nice job.